Jonathan Hare is the Chief Executive Officer of Treasury Consulting LLP, which is a Singaporean multinational group. And today we are going to cover about a topic which is Foreign Exchange Derivatives CAD Range Forwards. CAD is not current account deficit. CAD is uh, CAD is not current account deficit. CAD is Canadian dollar. So our foreign exchange is, is also just like a doctor, right? We have a short words actually. We never use Singapore dollar, we use Sing dollar. We never use New Zealand dollar, we use, we use New Z. We never use Australian dollar, we use Aussie. So we have our own convention also. So here CAD is not, a, or not about current account deficit, it is, uh, it is Canadian dollar. There is a specific purpose of shooting that video. Of course we have a lot of videos about range forward. To the, uh, roughly five days ago, there was a news on the Bloomberg. The news suggested that two big banks of the globe, one, number one bank of the globe, another, which is not number one, but a very famous bank, which is Morgan. So, you know, I'm comparing Goldman with Morgan. They had a divergent views about the Canadian dollar. Like Goldman Sachs is having a view that CAD would, re CAD would reach to 1.18 by December, which is roughly six months down the line. And Morgan is having a view that it would reach to 1.35. Although everybody knows that Goldman Sachs is my favorite bank, but irrespective of that, I am always with the view that CAD would go down from here. It, it would go to 1.18. It will not come out to be. Predominantly, my view is that CAD would come down more than what Goldman predicted. It would might be 1.16. Time would tell how the things would be. We got a few calls from the people. Those are our clients in Canada. They wanted us to shoot a video that how they would take a position in the CAD. So that is why we are purposely making this video. Now in this video, we are going to be talk about foreign exchange derivative CAD range forward, Canadian dollar range forward. In this, how we are going to be shooting it about, this is, uh, so at the time of the shooting of this video, the CAD was spot was 1.2950 and 1.2954, which is, this is a bid and this is the ask. This is at which you will sell the dollars and this is at which you will buy the dollars. This is how it would go. So today you have $100. You have approximately 129 CAD. Uh, I decide to take it. 129.5, you know, something like that. We have taken few volatilities from live Bloomberg terminal, which is uh, the implied wall. Six months is 7.07. .07. Here it is 7.37. .7. Here it is 7.1. .1. Here it is 7.4. Here it is 7.1 and here it is 7.46. These implied walls would help you to, to price the option contracts. We have taken the realized walls also, which is 3 months for 7.73, 6 months 7.29, which is 7.3, 1 year is 7.58. We should not forget that at any point of time that the actually there are four kind of walls. Now the market has introduced fourth wall also, which is the options wall. But anyways, uh, Practically speaking, we have three walls, which is historical volatility, implied volatility, sorry, historical volatility, realized volatility, and implied volatility. Today, we are covering about a range forward or an export point of view, how a Canadian exporter who is basically exporting in dollar, on the contrary, his functional currency is Indian rupee, how he can take his positions in the market. This is how he would be able to take his position. While we did our option calculators, we got to know that the buy put and sell call, which is nothing but range forward exporter, is fits out 1.16 to 1.34. And we here assume that the notional, which is the um, which is the notional of the deal is 1 million and tenor of the deal is 1 year, because we have computed this for 1 year basis. Uh, sorry, 6, uh, yes, 1 year basis. So this is a range forward. Now buy put means that I'm writing here. Buy put means that buy put means that the corporate is having a right. On the contrary, the bank would have an obligation. On the either side, sell call means the corporate would have obligation. while the bank is having a right. In between, we have what we always refer to this as a market. Now, in the range forward, there are three legs. Now, this, which is less than 1.16, this means the downside protection. This is market which have which have already told you. And this means upside loss. 
Now this is how it actually would happen. This is how it actually would happen. Assuming one, I am taking three rates. I am taking all the three arbitrary rates. One is downside, one is market, and one is upside. So one year down the line, assuming the CAD turned out to be 1.15. Now what a corporate would be doing, a Canadian corporate who have the dollar receivable, but whose functional currency is CAD, so he's subject to risk. That is why he is taking this cash flow position. What he is subject to do. He would be exercising this buy put because this buy put means the corporate right and bank obligation. So he would be exercising this buy put whereby he would be selling 1 million notional, which is 1 million into 1.16. So the net gain he would be getting minus 1.15 because the market is 1.15, but he would be selling at 1.16. So the net gain he would be getting. Ten thousand US dollars. Sorry, ten thousand CAD. The gain he would be getting. Assuming the rate turn out to be uh, in between one point two five, he won't be doing the buy put because he will not sell at one point one six when the market is one point two five. Neither the bank would oblige him to sell to him. Neither the bank will buy from him at one point three four. So it would be in between. In this, what would happen? This buy put lag will go as worthless, which is our technical term. And here also, it will go worthless. Unfortunately, there are many books in we have in our option space who will refer this that it will go, uh, it you will not exercise and so on so forth. This is all nonsense. The technical word is worthless. You will let it worthless. You will lose your option premium, which have already been amortized in the books. This is how it would happen. Third is. Assuming the CAD will go to, assuming it will even cross the Morgan's prediction and it will go to 1.4, then what it would happen? This he cannot do because he is not going to sell in the market as for sure. This he cannot do, and here he would end up when the bank will buy from him because here the corporate is having an obligation and the bank is having a right. Here the bank will buy from him at 1.3450. So he would be losing 1 million notional into 1.40 minus 1.3450. So the net loss would be 55000 dollars. This is how it would be moving and this is the best way to, to protect yourself. So all the Canadian exporters, those who are watching this video, we have a request for them, do not take a forward contract as of now. First of all, the forward premiums are negative. You are surely going to be, you are surely going to be, surely going to be losing that. So if you're going to hedge one year down the line, you're surely going to be losing that. So it is better you will take a position in an option contract where you would be gaining. So you would be more or less spot neutral. In case you left with any question, my Skype ID is Rahul5327, email rahul.magan at the rate registryconsulting.in, platform www.fixedincome.global, website www.registryconsulting.in, mobile 9899242978. Have a wonderful time. Thank you.